Oh, you cut open the bag? No, I just have the bag in there from when I had hot tea. And then I leave the bag in the teacup and then I pour in cold water and sparkling water and then it turns into this icy tea water. You know, it's not real. Mm -hmm. It just tastes different. Okay. What's up, Fabs and Besties? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella. This week we are making the Book of Shadows. Well, not really. It's inspired by the Book of Shadows. We are making the Book of Shade. <laughs> you like that? You see what I did there? Yeah. The Book of Shade. I thought that was kind of cool. So this printable is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. All you gotta do is go to the Books and School Stuff album, click on the image that you want, click the little three buttons in the top corner to download and print. In addition to our printable, you will also need some recycled paperboard. Y'all, I know y'all are tired of seeing the cereal box, but this is pretty much the only cereal that I eat. So this is what we got. So we need recycled cereal board. I'm sorry recycled paperboard. I think I just hit the mic too, so I apologize for that. We will also be using glue sticks, scissors, and I like to use a little cut piece of clear plastic to help make nice clean corners when I am cutting and folding and all that jazz. What's up to the Cheetos? How you doing? What's up to the Tune? How you doing? What's up to everyone out there in Poland? How you doing? Okay, see I was like totally calm all day and now I'm just letting it all out. I was, I've been kind of somber like all day. Just kind of, but then YouTube Live starts and I'm just like, ah! Yeah. I saved all my energy. bring something out of you. Oh, I have to save up energy because otherwise on Fridays I would just be done. Okay, so we have our printable for the Book of Shade. Because, you know, we don't like taking folk stuff. We just like being inspired by folk stuff. So, Book of Shade instead of Book of Shadows. And then I felt like I owed you all an extra book because I didn't do a book last week. And some of our Fabs and Besties asked if we would do a book every week until uh, Halloween. So these are spooky inspired books. And to make up for the fact we didn't do one last week, I also have The Sick Note. Get it? From the Death Note, inspired by and the Death Note. And it sounds like note. a sick note, like when you're out from school, sick note. Yeah, it's a nice little play on words. Uh, the Death Note actually causes like a heart attack when you write someone's name in it. It's awful. It's an awful, awful story, okay? But. It's not that. I mean, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. But sick note, I guess. That's worse, actually. Because the Death Note, he, you die in like 40 seconds. Yeah. Uh, but this gets you sick. That's like a long period of dying. You know what? My husband came up with the name, not me. It's a painful, painful. But thing. you don't. You're not gonna die though, because it's a sick. It just gets you sick. So you, you have to go through excruciating pain without being relieved of it. Ever. Okay. Well, then maybe it's the runny nose book. Okay. That's even I'm worse. Sorry. That's just like a. <laughs> you just get a mild inconvenience for the rest of your life. I had to come up with some kind of derivative, and the sick better to just end it all. Than have like a runny nose. I, I would rather have a runny nose, but <laughs> <laughs> just stiff some tissue up there and keep going. But uh, so we have the sick note inspired by the death note. I'm sorry if that's worse. And we have the book of shade, the book of shade inspired by the book of shadows, which is from a TV show called Charmed that was on CW or WB. I don't even remember that channel changes its name like every 10 years. So I was like, was Charmed, the old Charm, was it out when Smallville was out? I think that was around that time. I, I was... So back in the day when... It was when back in the day. Good shows. Yeah. You know, I loved Charmed. I watched it all the time. I don't even remember when I was watching it. I want to say it was high school, college, but I could be wrong. I, I could have my dates completely mixed up. But I haven't watched the new Charmed because they rebooted it. They did. They rebooted it and I have not watched it. So I don't know anything I about that. Canceled. You said what? I think it got canceled. Oh, well, I never watched it, so I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah it canceled after like two seasons. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is you all know how to make the books. I'm going to sit here and make the books while we answer our questions. And uh, then we'll just, yeah. And I forgot the ones that were already done because I'm totally unprepared today. Okay, can you make a beach house on stilts? Well, we've made a lifeguard tower on stilts 
that was big enough to be used as a small like little bungalow, which I still have, which would be really fun to do a little makeover for. Cause I was about, I was thinking, why is this thing still sitting here? But that's a good idea. So definitely let's put that on the to-do list. So what's a favorite show? Right now, of all time. Like, oh, of all time. What's the thing you can watch over and over and over again? Oh, well, I know what yours is. <laughs> yeah, Trek. everyone knows the answer. Yeah. Star Trek: Next Generation. Don't forget the Next right, Generation I I, part. I think I ripped my um, ear piercing. What? Yeah, I think I ripped it. Like just now? No, like a few days ago. Did you clean it? Yeah, but it like hurts. I'm so sorry. Then take your earrings out. Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> uh, shout out to Dazzle It Up with Dazzling Daz. <laughs> Love the name. <laughs> Whoa, what's up? Oh, does it look ripped? Uh, it looks a little painful. Really? Why are you just now saying something? I don't know. I thought I was like, what's wrong with my ear? That only happened to one. And I've been using the same earrings both Maybe days. your earrings are too heavy. No, because this one is fine. Okay. All right. Well, this is a great time to talk about this right now on live. All right. Um, <laughs> shout out to Kaylee, Apple Hand, Apple Hands, Hands. What's up? My favorite show is Ted Lasso. Hands Ted Lasso down. is your favorite show? Yeah, and they just came up with an episode today. I didn't know they were doing that because the last episode seemed like it was ending, and I was like devastated because there's only like six episodes. But yeah, Ted, Ted Lasso is like the best show ever. I think I only got through one episode of Ted it was Lasso. it's so good i like want to be a better person oh wow of that show yeah wow. it just makes you want to be nice wow when tv makes you better that's nice where do you get your nails done in my basement <laughs> uh i use what's my nail polish company called it's not pacifica it's something elements or something is it Ele natural elements or something I don't, it's i get it from whole foods and it's supposed to be vegan, but you know, chemicals and all. It's not the best, I don't want to talk bad about nobody's company, but for what I do, it's so funny when people say something nice and then they say like, something I don't want to say anything mean, but <laughs> I, I really don't like you. No, I, I love this nail polish because uh, it's got like less chemicals, I guess, supposedly in it but it does not stay on as long as I want it to, but it could also be because I'm really, really hard on my nails uh, because I'm crafting all the time and so my nails get destroyed. So said, do you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I do. I watched it and I started rewatching you know, it when it came on Hulu. Buffy was on, she was in um, Scream too. You mean Sarah Michelle Gellar? Yeah, that her, <laughs> yeah. She was in the second Scream. For like a second, it was like a cameo. She was one of the students in the college. Yeah. Yeah, they, they like to do that in Scream. I was watching because I watched the first Scream and I was like, oh, oh yeah, because the first one had Drew Barrymore in it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was in there for all the five seconds. At four, yeah, five seconds. Yeah, yeah, it was nuts. I watched the first one. It was actually really good and like, it was really good. I did not, I mean like, I don't know. I enjoyed it way more than I was going to. And then the second Scream, I was like ready for it. And then my dad like spoiled it. The ending. Just told he me told who the you who it was. <laughs> Like seriously, now there's no point in watching it. But then you can watch. I know what you did last summer. That's like another. Isn't that? Um, that's, that's Sarah Michelle Jason Geller. Gordon Levitt. I don't remember. I remember the guy from Inception. Was he in that movie? Jason Gordon Levitt. I don't know, but I know Sarah Michelle Geller was in it. Or is it? What's the other guy's name from Ten Things I Hate About You? Heath Ledger. Or is it Heath Ledger? I think it's. Jason Gordon Levitt. I don't remember. I knew you did last summer. I don't remember who the guy was. Um, yeah. You had no idea it was vegan nail polish. Yeah, you know, it sounds a little sus, but you know, they say it's vegan, so yeah. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, shout out to Millie Ross. What's up? Can you make doll Halloween candy? I totally plan on uh, adding to our doll trick or treat candy from last year. So last year we had whole bunch of candy bars but they were vegetables instead of butterfinger we had butter lettuce i thought that was really cute and that took a lot of time to try to remake all of those candy wrappers to look like candy wrappers and then have like vegetables on it so i totally plan on doing that shout out to toxic waste gaming what's up oh we have a birthday why do you have my phone oh uh, because i have mine's dying yours is oh no Okay, hold on, let me just quickly get through these so I don't forget. 
I want to give a very happy birthday to Skip Stitch. Happy birthday! And a uh, shout out to Zoe M. What's, What's up? up? And then there is a shout out to Lily Dinkelman. What's up? All right, I hope I said those names right. Yes. What's up? It's, out, it's, it's almost midnight in Spain right now. I want to go to Spain one day. What about you? Spain? Yeah. Barcel Barcelona. Barcelona. Just say it like an American dude. That's what they think. <laughs> my friend, uh, my friend, she was talking about the like the Spanish in Spain, and she was saying that like, um, because she she speaks Mexican Spanish, and she was talking about like how they're all different or whatever. It's super neat. I can, I never think about that, but then like you hear someone or you listen, or you know somebody who's like speaks that language, and they're like. Oh yeah, like all the different countries speak a different like it's like a different accent. Of course they do, you know though. Like yeah, England has a different English than America, and America has a different English than Australia. Like duh, it makes sense. Stupid Americans, how do we not put what two two together? Don't say yeah. that. So when uh, oh, and it's Lily Maine's birthday today too. Happy birthday! Okay, so after you cut out your book cover, I like to cut the corners at a little bit of an angle just to make sure nothing overlaps and is showing. You all know this. You all know what to do. Okay. Uh, what's the next question? Make a doll room with just printables. Like just like you. We have quite a few doll rooms with printables, yeah. but we have we have to glue them onto something. Does that count? Because they're the glue onto like foam board or onto cardboard because the printables are just. They're just floppy paper. So let me know. If you like that idea, then our kitchen has a lot of printables in it. Several of our kitchens have a lot of printables in it. Back in the day, we have kitchens that don't have any printables. So if you're looking for ones without printables, you just gotta go a little farther back in our videos to find those. What's your favorite season? My favorite season? Whenever it's nighttime. Not a season. <laughs> I just want to sleep, bro. I had to move out of my room because my, um, they're painting it. She so asked to, for it. You wanted yeah. this, but so I have to sleep on an air air mattress in the other, in the guest room, and it's like way bigger than my little twin bed. Okay, let's get this straight. It's not a guest room. It's my upstairs will be craft bro, room. Bro, can I have that room though? Oh my goodness. You want to switch rooms? Yeah. Then why are we painting this room now? Well, you're already doing it. You want my craft room? Yeah, you can have my room. You know it's smaller. Yeah, but there's two rooms, so it like doesn't seem smaller. It's really hot. I know. Like that's why I'm only using it for but the I winter. But I like, like I make my room hot anyways. If you want it, fine. <laughs> you have to clean it all out though. Or you just, I guess you, you just clean it. it. I guess you just move it to my room. I was about to clean it because I was gonna make my upstairs craft room, and now you're taking you can make my, upstairs. my room your upstairs craft room. But that other room has two rooms. Exactly. So I would have one for storage, and then one for being, you know, doing my crafting no. thing. You could just have like a little area that's for storage. Oh, you know. Are you serious? Yeah. You really want my craft room? You just switch rooms with me. <laughs> I was told that you talked about this. I wasn't going to talk to you about it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever did that, thanks a lot. Okay, whatever, if you want it. I mean, I can't say no to my kids. So, so can you do a frog food drawing animals? I actually don't know how to draw animals. It's not something I do. I've been asking um, for her to draw Bowie for the longest time. I don't know how to draw animals. Like, that's just, I just don't. I mean, horses are easy because they're, they're just easy. They have big shapes, but you know, like, a Chinese crested? That's a hard animal to just figure no, out. No, it isn't. Draw. Pokemon it is. did it for you. It's the little wolf one with the spiky hair. I forgot his name, but it looks just like Bowie. Just like him. Uh, say no to this. <laughs> Sweet Pea says no. You don't get my craft room. I mean, I'll get I another was told craft room. that I was told that I had an option now. I, if I, I liked the bigger bed, then I could stay in the other room. You don't get to keep the bigger bed. It's an air mattress. I could just keep the air mattress. You know, I like no, 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 no. Your furniture's going with but you. But I don't like the small bed. Your furniture is not staying in my craft room. So pick and choose. The furniture goes with you. You still want to take my room? Or you want your old bed? Let me think about it. Let me think about it. <laughs> Are you a morning person or a night person? I am a sleep person. That's not what the question was. I I'm definitely an afternoon person. I don't know. I'm. It's like when I'm behind schedule and it's late at night, I, I go into beast mode. But I do work well in the morning, 
But then there's all these distractions. I mean, like, are you a natural early riser? Because some people are naturally more inclined to have, like, a later clock than other people. I naturally wake up every day before my alarm book goes off. And it is the worst. Wait, so you're naturally an early riser? Yes, but I don't like it. Or have you conditioned yourself to be? So you think you work better in the, um, in, at night? Or you work better in the morning? I work well without distractions. And if there's people up, they are distractions. No, because the idea is that the people that are like more naturally inclined to, to wake up later perform better in the afternoon. I'm not that. I'm just the person who does well any time of day if people aren't messing with me. Okay. But when people are up, they mess with me. And they take my craft room and stuff like that. Can you make a doll attic? We did! We have a whole video for a hidden doll attic with a cool slanted roof that lets in some cool light and there's boxes and everything. That video is on YouTube at My Froggy Stuff. Check it out. Can you make a doll birdcage? Um, yeah, we can do that. I thought we've done one. I could be wrong, but yes. So I was like, can you do a body tutorial? I can. Yeah, I can do that. I can do like just breaking it like torso sort of stuff, I guess. Like how I just draw like full body maybe, I guess, yeah. Is it going to be anime? Yeah. Or is it going to be that the amazing new style? Well, I just tried something out. <laughs> but. <laughs> Love you. Uh, bye, Foxy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, shout out to Gucci Flip Flops. What's up? Can you make a Buffy li library? Uh, we can make a library. I cannot guarantee that it will be themed after Buffy. Because they had like a little... They have like stairs and stuff, and that creates complications. And because all of our rooms are hidden doll rooms now, because space has become an issue, um, having lifts and levels and stairs causes things like problems. But you know what? There might be a way we could do it if we just have the stairs on the wall. They're not super functional, just a little fun. I think we can. Just give me a moment and let me see if I can figure that out. So I said, have you seen the Bob Ross documentary? I have not. There is Bob Ross documentary on Netflix. I started it. It's about like betrayal. You know, I'm not gonna watch it, man. There's this Bob Ross scandal. I thought he was like no scandals. Oh my goodness! Do not ruin Bob Ross for me. I've, no, I've, I think someone did something to them. You know what? I'm just gonna keep my happy thoughts, and I'm gonna stay there. No, I mean, I bet you it's probably like someone stole all the paintings or something like that, or like the revenue from the show. I bet you it's something like that. I, I'm just I need not, to watch documentary and say anything about it. Can you make a doll basement? Uh, yeah, sure. What about Charmed Magic Attic? You know, I was playing around with things. If you look at the thumbnail for this video right here, I was playing around with the idea of the Charmed Attic. And if that's the attic you're talking about with like stained glass windows and stuff, I would love to do that. And like layered rugs all over the place and cool little knickknacks everywhere. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Someone said, do you listen to Girl in Red? Mm -hmm. I do not know what that is. I actually have recently started listening to her. Um, what's that one song? The thing about October. Oh, uh, we met in October. That what are that don't, that one? It's from TikTok, and I was having like the longest time trying to um, figure out where that song came from, and it was Girl in Red. I actually like a lot of her songs. I don't like the one that is not that I don't like it, but the one that is. The one that the song called Girls isn't necessarily my vibe. I listen to it, it's good, but I don't think it's my vibe. But I do like the more her her like slow, like dizzy ones. Uh do you not like slow music. They're not slow, they're like a beat, like they you have just a beat. said slow. Yeah, they have a like the, the background, the track is a beat, but then like the, the vocals are kinda slow. I'm not a slow music person. I mean, you can do this to her music. No, 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 no. I yeah. want to do this to music. I don't do that to Or I want to be jumping up and down and stuff. Like, I don't want to listen to slow music because I don't want to slow down, you know. So, I'm good. Um, hidden Doll Room, Star Frogs Coffee Shop. So, you would make another Star Frogs in a hidden doll room. That's a that's an idea we can definitely play with. I know um, this amazing doll account, really, really fun one that I follow on Instagram called Stoveball the Doll. And he did do a hidden doll room coffee shop so uh i will definitely uh consider that idea what's your favorite craft anything room related i love making rooms and actually recently after that last short slash reel because i just make the same ones but after that last one i realized i love sock fashion i have a whole pinterest board 
on my personal, not my party stuff, but on my Pinterest, my personal Pinterest, I have a whole board dedicated to sock fashion ideas. And I think we're gonna start exploring that because I like the idea. Someone said, do you know what Avatar is? I imagine you talk about the- Airbender or Blue Airbender, People? Airbender, cause the Airbender was better than Blue People. Than the Blue People? You don't yeah. like the Blue People? No, they Which didn't is like pretty them. much a human version Aren't of Fern Are they Fern supposed Gully? to make another one? I don't know, but I, I thought it was pretty much Fern Gully. If you think about it, people, Avatar with the Blue People, it was Fern Gully. I liked the other Avatar, just cause it was like the elements and all that sort of stuff. I liked that a lot. Uh, someone said, can you do more Harry Potter? Um, I do have a Harry Potter book coming. Not a book, like, of Harry Potter, but we're going to do Tom Riddle's Diary uh, as a printable. So that one will come up. We can do that. Have I watched the Disney Ascendants Royal Wedding? I have not. It is in cartoon version form, and I, I have nothing against cartoons. I just... I just didn't. Someone said, do you, want, do you like Olivia Rodrigo? I have not listened to... Her album or I don't know I don't know if I've heard any of her songs I know she's like really popular so I'm sure something blew up on TikTok but um I do oh he laid down in front of the door he is laying in front of the door <laughs> uh to my knowledge I have not listened to any of her stuff and uh yeah you know me and music y'all uh can you make a rainbow high magazine uh, I guess we can totally try it. What I would do is I would use several pictures that we already have and just throw it into one of my magazine templates and then BAM! Rainbow High Magazine. So uh, we could totally try to do that. Right now I'm trying to assemble our sick note, which I feel really bad about making now because Bella said that was worse than... Uh, it is worse. I, I beg to differ because you get over a sickness. No. You get over it. It doesn't mean you're going to be sick It's forever. not better though. If it's a runny nose, a couple days, and then you're fine. <laughs> I'm That's throwing stuff. No. What if you give it to someone who has an autoimmune deficiency? You oh, you are thinking too much into this. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're overthinking. Okay, uh, can you make your logos, how do you make your logos transparent? I don't do it. So my editor does it, and he does the transparency thing in our program. What's your logos? Yeah, how he makes the watermark in the bottom of the video. Oh, that's just because he just puts the, the picture there and I make a logo, a PNG. And he doesn't have background. So. No, but then, then he can go into the, the computer and change the transparency oh, yeah, the of it so you can see through it. You just put it there and turn out paste it down. Yeah. It's not too hard. But I mean, if people don't want to do it, they don't do it, you know? Well, I'm just saying it's not hard, so you can do it. Yes. Yeah. You just got to understand your software and, and hopefully it'll do that. Someone said, do you wear glasses or contacts to school? Today I wore glasses to school because I just didn't feel like putting contacts in, but usually I put contacts in because I wear a mask all day and the glasses and the mask is just not my favorite thing ever. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you a dog or cat person? I am a, I'm a dog person. I want a cat when I, when I go to like college. I'm gonna get a cat. Okay. I'm totally gonna get a cat, yeah. I had some amazing cat experiences in college. <laughs> well, you had cats for like your whole childhood. Yes, but college made me feel very differently about them. So, um, and you're gonna- You think I should get a dog instead? Yeah, I don't think you should have any animal in college. No, aren't you, if you live alone, aren't you just like kind of- I think you should stay in the dorms. Not the whole time. Says the woman not paying for anything. Exactly, not paying for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you should stay in the dorm. So that's just me. That's, you didn't stay in the dorm. You know what? No, I didn't. Exactly. But so. I had a job. I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> what is this right now? I'm just saying. So, so how did you get into drawing? I'm actually gonna make a video about that. That's gonna be the September frog food. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I can't tell you now because you have to go watch the video. So my advice though, like for my daughter, because everyone has different situations. But when it comes to college, make things as easy for you as possible. Do not go out and make obstacles like having to pay for bills or having to pay your rent and all this other stuff. I mean, it's a great way to test the waters for adulthood, but you're still paying with my money. So if you are working, then yeah, have at it, man. Go live that life experience, learn all those things, have at it. But while you're on my dime, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, um, you 
Um, so I think these are all music questions, and I'm not a music where person. Where are the music questions? I don't know. It says, can you make a Darby, a Barbie Roblox room? You mean like just like a pink room? Because the person who makes all my stuff in Roblox is um, my son Noah. He, he does all of the builds in Roblox. So, so what was your first video? Our first video was saying, hey everybody, come to our YouTube channel. Really? Yep. That was, that was the very first one. <laughs> <laughs> if they come to the YouTube channel, there's nothing there. Well, it was, this was 11 years ago, man. There wasn't even this whole YouTube culture back then. It was just, People were posting random soccer tournaments and cat videos. I think there was a video literally on static that was 10 hours long. Literally just recorded static. So, I mean, it wasn't like it is today. So, you, is that how old is Bella? I am 16. I know. So, why are we arguing about college? We have time. No, we don't. We I'm, do. in, I'm a junior. I have one year after this. Yeah, but you got time. I'm in like prom years. Like, Actually, prom you're gonna it. literally prom is not gonna happen. You will live in dorms freshman year. That's I know, not I know. But saying like, so I got three years. Eventually, I'm gonna move out of the dorms. Yeah. Do you prefer Mal, Uma, or Evie? Neither are my favorite person ever. I don't know what Mal did in this one. She was my favorite in the f when she first appeared, and then I don't know. Uh, I think I'm more of an Evie person because. I don't like her because she's with that dwarf guy. That's messed up. Yeah, but like... <laughs> so what? <laughs> you don't like him. He's annoying as crap. Like, ugh. No, I think I'm mixing up Mal and Uma. Okay, so I liked Uma when oh, she yeah, first Uma. came out. But then, I don't know. And so I think... Um, and like, yeah, because she was like cool in the, in the first time, that, in the first movie she was in. But then the third one, she like was nice. I don't know. I was. Just, but didn't she like say in the last movie that she was like, "Well, you think you saw the last of me," sort of thing? And then she was like all nice and a, like a friend in the third movie. I just was like, what I don't is even this? remember the third movie. Yeah, it was. It was like what happened. But I remember. I remember being disappointed in the third movie. I, I think I'm more of an Evie person. She's just really nice. But I'm saying this without remembering the last one I watched, and I haven't watched the new one. Okay. Can you do more fried food? Uh, I believe we have fried chicken. We do. We have a whole video on like chicken thing. We did a Chick-fil-A video. So that video is out there. It's nice and crispy looking. And uh, that video is out there. So Sabella, if you were going to start a YouTube channel, what would you post? I'd probably post like frog food sort of videos. I'd probably also try to do vlogs, but like, I don't know if I'm a vlog type of person. I tell myself like, I know I could make a good vlog, but it's the act of like filming in public. You don't have to film in public. I've seen lots that. of vloggers filming with a white wall behind them. No, 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 no. And they're I like, mean, this like, one girl I mean, like, had like a sweatshirt on and it was tied to her neck. Also, like, I would And she just talks in front of the camera the whole time. I would do like commentary videos and stuff like that. And I would do like, um, I probably would try new vlogs. Like, you know, like those art school vlogs? I wouldn't be in art school, but I would make vlogs of that caliber. You know what I mean? Just talking about how I'm like balancing school and everything else. You know what? I, I honestly think going, if you want to be a YouTuber, vlogging would be one of the easier routes to go. Yeah, it really is. It um, really is. And less, you'll have least amount of hardships. Let's but just no, say but that. I'm not necessarily though, because like, because it is easier to make the videos. But not a family a, vlogger. To an just extent. Like a, like a 20 something vlogger, you're golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube loves you. I would you. say to an extent though, because you still gotta edit it, and it depends on how like, ambitious you wanna be with editing, you know what I mean? But, um. No, it's still easier. <laughs> it is easier than like having to make these posters and tutorials and come up with those ideas. Like art YouTubers, we have so yeah. much work. But I think that once you get big as a blogger, I think it's a lot harder than, um. I think that's a lot harder than being an art YouTuber. Unless you just like that sort of spotlight but they get like that obsessive level of, like celebrity sort of fans you know what I mean and they actually can they just lose all privacy and they need all privacy so unless you're into that but I think that at that point it gets harder than like if we were 2 million subscribers and vloggers I think our lives would be a little different no I'm saying this in terms of being a youtuber with the changes that YouTube does oh, all yeah, the time yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a 20 something vlogger. Anything other than, vlogger, than, anything other than our genre would have been easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If no, you, like, if our you genre just, is arts and crafts. If, if you would have just, just get it twisted. If you would have just did art though, like drawing and stuff, then you would be fine. 
But I like miniatures. I know. You like miniatures and that's the thing. Like, you know, but if you just did drawing, you'd be fine. That's the thing. Anything other than your genre, you'd been, you'd been okay. Yeah. If I was a drawing and, Or channel. like, you couldn't have been like sand. Like the satisfying videos, you couldn't have done that. If I knew then what I knew now, I would just be drawing. And I actually can draw. I used to, I would be way better if I've been drawing for the last 10 years. I would probably be making comics by now and my own animations. Comics isn't for everybody. Just, you don't have to be a comic artist to be a good artist. Uh, I have goals and ambitions. I couldn't just sit as a drawing person. Someone That's said, Bella, we are like the same age. Do you have any tips about college? Because, or I don't know anything I'm going to do outside of school. I think that's the first step, isn't it? To figure out what you like. You don't, it doesn't even have to be like figure out a career, just be like figure out what you like. And I like design and I like, I like art, you know? Honestly, I think I was born to do, to be honest with you at this point. Well, I have been making you draw since Yeah, whatever. Like I'll let you take the credit, okay? I get no credit for being None. your art teacher okay. when you were like two. Yeah. But I, I love art and I love design. <laughs> I remember Bella drew like an apple. I was like, that's not an apple. This is how you draw an apple. I'm like, we're shading. Let's yeah, see different yeah. colors in yellow Use and red. Use your finger. Just Use your them. finger. Yeah, we had like full blown art classes with chalk pastels or oil pastels when you were little. Yeah, I was indoctrinated into art. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, just figure out what you like to do, and then um, I want to. I'm kind of uh, looking at tech as the path I want to go on. So I'll probably do something in a design sort of space, like UX UI design. I'm even looking at being a product engineer. I think that looks pretty, that would seem pretty cool. Um, yeah, I also am really interested in film school though. But like that is a tough bet. That is, you know. So someone asked, but, how do I get my pages neat? Okay, so uh, if you've got your printable here, my mom likes to use a paper cutter. Um, I don't like using a paper cutter because sometimes you end up with like a little line of white on your pages uh, and if your pages are white that's not a problem but when your pages are like aged like these then you know you want to cut it off so I cut really really slow with my scissors I just cut really 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 slow and then when I'm folding the pages I use a little piece of plastic or you can use like a gift card and you just literally fold every single page the same direction so you can see the line so I fold all of them back like that so I can see the line regardless of how we're gonna fold it later you just fold them all back and then once the crease has been made you can go back and fold it accordion style and it makes it way, e way neater or easier and if you made a mistake and your pages are not completely lined up I will go through and trim them so you can go page by page with the ruler and trim all your pages on this edge because they've been glued together so you can cut them and they'll still be held together that is how I do it okay do you have any tips about college been like the, I like, tell you the tips about college. I guess college. about knowing what you want to do sort of side. Because oh. I feel like that's harder than like well, no trying one... to get into college. Trying to get into college is hard, but it's not as hard as like figuring out what you like. Well, I wanted to be an artist and um, no shade to the parental units, but they told me no. So, um... <laughs> no shade, but all the shade. And in your face also. No, no, no. Be nice. But so I, I would say I just read between the lines. <laughs> So I wanted to be an artist, but that didn't happen. And instead, I went for what I was good at. And I was, I'm always, I've always been good at math. And so I just went for that because I was good at it. Accounting. I went for accounting. You should have went for tech, so I could have been easier tying into college. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I went to UGA. But tech back then wasn't as like secure as it is now, I guess. Actually, no, it was. It actually totally was. There's a reason I didn't go to Georgia Tech over UGA. Why? Uh, because my uh, parental unit thought that I was too close to my would-be my boyfriend at the time and my boyfriend who's now my husband <laughs> so that didn't work but my you boyfriend. didn't go to Georgia Tech to help your child I didn't get. know about you bro you gotta think about these things I if you get accepted into MIT you go to MIT for your kids not for you I did not even think about you but my my father love you dad thanks uh, for messing up my chances he thought I was too close to my boyfriend and he wanted me to go to school farther away. Well, I could really use some legacy right now. But then I ended up marrying him anyway, so my it didn't work. <laughs> uh, well, who's your favorite doll character? Favorite doll character? Uh, like, uh, who's my favorite doll? Like, from a doll TV series. It's gonna go to Monster High. Yeah, Monster High is the OG. That is 
they were that girl. I loved Cleo they were, Denial. They she were was my favorite in the back of the day. Like, oh, I miss Monster High. I miss Monster High the way it was though, not bef- before the reboot, not after reboot. Well, I mean, Cleo Denial was my absolute all-time favorite. I loved her, um, and she's one of the characters that we had added to the Darby show because I loved her so much. Am I, I out of glue? I feel like Monster High was like so ahead of its time. Like they could have been pioneering, like. They could have totally did the whole like merging social current social issues with just like amazing content like Gumball does. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they could have did that so well. I miss them so much. That well, was so great. The <laughs> that song was like, as well. Everything has to be and the fashion, educational. The fashion was the basis of my obsession with like leather. I think. <laughs> okay. Are you still into smart dolls? Uh, I still have my smart dolls. I haven't been buying any more just because I don't particularly like buying the same skin tones over and over again and I and there's only like a couple skin tones out there and so um, I feel like my dolls are a good sample at the moment and so I haven't bought any more now if he ever comes out with other skin tones I'll probably go back into buying them or if something changes in like the faces and stuff like that I'll probably go back into collecting them again but right now I feel like my collection's pretty pretty good so I said are you going to an art college I am not there's actually pretty good and like like well there's a pretty good art college in our area but I will not be going to it because almost all our colleges I think are private colleges and they are so much more expensive <laughs> than every other college for some reason. So I will not be going. I would totally love to, but like student debt, we're not doing that. So I'm just gonna go for tech. I can do media in tech and I can also take, I can do competition in media as well, which they take a lot of our classes there as well. So um, I can, I can, there's, I have a lot of other options, but yeah, so not go to art college. Can you make more custom dolls? So I, I do make custom dolls on occasion confession they are my least favorite thing in the entire world to what me. is custom dolls oh. they are they are the absolute least thing that i like i do not like making them let's just say that i don't like making custom dolls. but the end result is pretty rewarding though <laughs> that's how it usually is like the process sucks but then so like when you finish the, it's re- nice. another reason i don't really like custom dolls is because they're they're f- incredibly fragile they're very fragile and like the the you don't you can't do to a custom doll what you do to a like a factory printed doll like i could take my factory doll and take it to the beach throw it in my bag uh, take her all over the place and she'll be fine but a custom doll you might chip the paint you might mess up the hair you know it's just like there's a whole nother level of care that comes in with custom dolls so i tend not to use them as much and so if i don't use it a lot i don't usually want to have them if i'm not using them so so I said, do you like to go to school? Did you like to go to school? Did I like to go to school? I was. Does anybody like to go to school? I was good at school, so I'm just gonna like say to that. I'm good at. I'm good at school too. I don't like. I mean, school. I like. I love my friends. I have a really, really good set of friends, and I mean, I can deal with the other people there. I don't like them, but I can deal with them. You know, I think my. I just do not like the systems, and I do not like the leadership at our school they are doing everything wrong <laughs> so oh my goodness everything wrong everything you can possibly do wrong they are doing wrong and um that is insanely frustrating insanely frustrating well we're not here to bash so let's, yeah let's but like I, I never that. wanted to move to new zealand more in my life so <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm really sick of this okay Shout out to Brenda. So I'm excited for Matrix Four. They're making another one. They're making another Matrix Four. Wow. Who's gonna be in it? Who's I don't know. Be Keanu Reeves again. Uh, Bro, I Keanu mean, Reeves in the Matrix was like top tier. He's supposed to be in the Matrix because he's Neo. I think that like I don't know. Someone and said, he's John Wick. What if Neo and John Wick won? Someone Actually, said Neo's way more Someone said favorite Disney prince. Here's another question. Favorite like. Naveen. Naveen, your favorite prince? Well, because I really like uh, Eugene. What's his name? His and name? Tangled. Tangled. Eugene. What was, it, what was his other name? Yeah, I don't know his name. name. I think it's Finn. 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 Flynn. Finn Ryder. Yeah, that dude. I like him, but he's not a prince. Yeah, I do like him. So uh, then it's going to go to uh, Prince Naveen. I'm not even going to lie. I, I seriously think that Disney and like Curious George and... Disney and Curious George set like my type. 
for the rest of my life. You are going to be sadly for the, disappointed. For the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm just joking. I just will <laughs> never buy <laughs> somebody. One day your prince will come. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it just, and I think in terms of just looks, though. Really? Because really? no one can live up to drawn characters. Nobody can live up to drawn characters. I mean, some people can. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going by so fast. Do I watch? Have I watched Corella? I have not. And I don't know if that will ever happen. So what's a favorite hairstyle? Favorite hairstyle? You know, I would shave my head if I could. But I think I said this before. I would shave my head. But I do not think I have... I don't have the face for a shaved head. Like, I don't have a face that would look good without hair. I had my hair very short for a long time. And it was fantastic. You should, you should shave your head and dye it like so. Blonde. I'm never dyeing my hair again. Actually, you would, no. You think you would look? I don't think you would look good as like a beach blonde. I'm never. Gonna I'm not dying anymore unless they come up with some way where the dye is super healthy. I'm not dying. So, um, but I liked having my hair short. I, I didn't like having to get haircuts all the time. My husband cut my hair though, so that was convenient. But then I had to always ask him to cut my hair, uh, which I didn't like. So right now my favorite hairstyle is definitely the locks because they are incredibly low maintenance. You do have to maintain them, but they're so much easier and just get up and go. You spray water on it and they're they're good. They're good. So I so love say, it. What is people's reaction to you telling them you're a YouTuber? I don't tell anyone I'm a YouTuber anymore. Um, yeah. Except for like in the store. <laughs> well, trying if I'm plug. trying to get subscribers. Every every <laughs> second she manages to weave it in there. Well, that's just the people who I think are perspective Well, watchers. it's like what you do is this is how you do it, right? You talk about something that you know a lot about. So like you only chime in on something you know a lot about. So say like, for, okay, so for example, today um, for student council, they're having like this, this student body president sort of like election thing happening, right? And like a few of my friends are doing it. So like they're recording videos this morning. And I was giving my friend tips on like where she should be standing and giving the, the guy that was filming her tips about where he should be pointing the camera. It definitely annoys me more people are like acting like they know a lot about film when they're obviously doing it wrong. Hey, Just everyone has their own learning curve. Man. Yeah, but I mean like it's obvious, bro. Middle of the shot, she's talking to the people, look at the camera. Why would you look at me? Anyways. Hey, let them do their thing. Maybe that's their their vision. No, she didn't know what was happening. So he was controlling the shot and I was like, this is not the way you do this. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, you do you talk about something you talk about something you know a lot about and then to get the person that you're talking to to ask you, Oh, how do you know a lot about this? And that's why you No, and that's I don't. when you weave it in. And there. actually I don't tell people I used to, like, when people would stand in the store next to me, like random people, they would stand in the store next to me in the toy aisle, and they'd be like, oh, I don't know what to give my daughter. I used to be like, or I don't know what to give my son, or whatever. And I used to be like, oh, well, you know, this is a great doll. I don't do that anymore. Now, I just act like I don't know really? anything. You do that, you used to do that all the time. I did. And then one day, this lady was like, dude, I wasn't talking to you. And I was like, oh, well, you said, I don't know what to give my kid. Bro, oh, that's that. open conversation. So Why are you talking like, out loud then? I was like, so you know what? I don't say nothing to nobody no more. I just kind of do my own thing. It only takes one bad experience. And you're like, well, I'm done. I made a pledge to like be more social this year. And then like, I, but I was only really, like, I was like, I'm only really going to try and talk to like the quiet kids. And I learned that not all quiet, like my friends are kind of quiet, but when you get to know them, they're very like extroverted, you know, but not all people are like that. Like, some quiet kids are quiet, and they talk, like, at two decibels. <laughs> That's okay. Like, I know, but I'm saying you just cannot hear what they're saying. And then it makes you feel bad because you have to lean in and be like, can you say it again? And then, like, this is kind of rude, and you're like, let me let me evaporate right now. Maybe it is you. But yeah, I actually, yeah, I actually ended up making friends with the people who were, like, way more extroverted. Did you watch the Spider-Man trailer? I yeah. tried. You didn't watch it? It kept buffering. Like, it kept giving me little spinning wheel of death. And so I just gave up. Bro, I watched I am part of it. Doctor Strange is being sus. Wait, I did watch it. And, okay, are we allowed to give conspiracy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally not Doctor Strange. It's totally not. It's totally not. So Because, because he spent his entire first movie, his entire movie was to protect the space-time continuum. Yeah. And now he's making different branches by accessing, by accessing, But then, accessing like, the overtone, the it was like, be careful what you wish, wish for. Doctor Strange wouldn't do that. No, Doctor Strange does not care. No. I love about that, about, like, that sort of thing. He was just like, I mean, like, why would he make another timeline, like, alter this timeline if his entire point of this first movie was to stop other timelines? If if that character ends up being Doctor Strange, 
my entire viewpoint and outlook on Doctor Strange it's will changed. be forever changed. There's, and there's no way that's Doctor Strange. Like, because there's no way. I was like, dude, I thought you were smart. And he let <laughs> Peter call him Steven. I don't think he would do that either. I don't either. I don't. He wouldn't have done that. He would have. He would have made him keep him keep it as Doctor Strange or so Doctor. I am holding out for the fact that. Or for the idea that this isn't Doctor Strange. Yeah, because like all it took for Doctor Strange, this super powerful, what is it, whatever he is, Warlock? I don't know what he is. What if it's the chick from WandaVision? Or what if it's somebody new? But what, what if the that's chick. the villain? Yeah, I'm saying the lady from what WandaVision, if, oh, the witch lady. What if, oh yeah, 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 it could be. Well, you know, Wanda is, um, she's been confirmed to be the villain in, um, Doctor Strange Multiverse Madness. Man, leave Wanda alone. She's been through some stuff. Bro, she is going psycho, and I am here for it. I am here for it. Hey, we do not call people psycho. That you is she did? derogatory. All right, when is the next Summer in Cali coming out? Okay, that is tomorrow. I know normally by now I would have been posting pictures of behind the... That's like right in front of the mic. I would have been posting pictures of like behind the scenes and stuff like that. I have been taking them. I just haven't been posting them. This has been a really crazy week for me. But um, Summer Cali comes out tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon, Eastern Standard Time on My Froggy Stuff. And we will premiere it. We also have horse lessons, which means I've got to pull over um, to some Sorry. parking lot and to, uh, to do the whole live chat thing. So we will be in the comments. 30 minutes before this that's 11 30 eastern standard time we'll be in the comments to chit chat with all of you so what's that favorite harry potter movie what's your favorite and least talking. favorite huh favorite and least favorite harry potter movie they're all the same it's one long story they're not all the same okay my favorite is goblet of fire because it has young Robert pattinson in it i think that it was his best role besides <laughs> he, Tenet. he didn't do anything Tenet was yeah he died and was really hot while doing it okay so I was all for that, okay? I don't understand. What? He was, like, so cute. He was adorable. I could not. Anyways, the, the mind of a 16-year-old. Whatever. Everything. I just look at everything that way. Anyways. <laughs> and in Tenet. I actually did like him in Tenet. He was the only reason I watched the I movie. I still do not understand what happened, what happened in Tenet. What was going on? I feel like there was so much hype, but then it was just, like, what even was happening? Anyways. I like Goblet of Fire. I, my least favorite is probably... I mean, I don't think I have a least favorite. I love all of them, but... I love all of them, but I just really don't like Ron. I really don't like Ron and oh, you're about to get attacked. I don't like I don't like Ron and Deathly Hollows. Oh well, you know Ron was going through some things. I don't care if he's going through things. Everybody was going through things. <laughs> uh, Hermione had to erase herself from her family, and Ron was over here complaining. Okay, Shut up, Ron. He was so annoying the whole time, and they kept teasing us with the whole like. Wrong, I mean the whole like Harry and Hermione thing when that totally should have happened and it didn't happen like that actually Did you read the book cuz you would have already known. The, I mean JK Rowling you should did that instead. You should have did Harry and Hermione. <laughs> what are you doing? So you're about to get I did not say Ron it. is great. Whatever. She said it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It was her. Okay. Um, He's not even the best Weasley. The best Weasleys are the twins. You're so. taking accounting class. Do you have any advice? Uh, my advice for accounting is to read the book read the book and to do the questions at the end of the book hopefully they still do books I don't know schools that's like 20 years ago do schools even do books anymore <laughs> <laughs> I graduated from college like bro they told us that we were 20 years ago. history books like the first week of school and we still haven't gotten them but I did I was a TA um, at a university back in the day teaching accounting 101 I actually taught accounting 101 as a TA so if you have a couple of accounting questions like basic stuff I can't tell you I remember everything but you can always ask me on my Instagram and I will do my best to help you out with those debits and credits and ledgers and balance sheets I used to we have to, we had to write them all by hand so if y'all get to use computers and Excel you are so much ahead of us we had to write everything by hand with paper so I said they hate Spider-Man. I cannot understand that, but I respect your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like like the new Spider-Man, or you hate Spider-Man as a character in general? Oh, before you go, shout out to Riley. What's up? Okay, sorry. Riley has to go, and she asked for a shout-out. She, he, she, whatever. Asked for a shout-out. Okay. They. Sorry. I don't know the pronouns. You say they if you don't know the pronouns. You do oh, okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. All right. Um... Shout out to Elizabeth. What's up? Someone said, um, have you heard the new BTS song? There was a remix with Butter. Was it Butter? 
I think it was Butter and Megan Thee Stallion. And she was on, she did a featured thing on it. It's actually pretty good. Megan Thee Stallion is like, she never misses. Like, never. Mm. I think in everything that she's like in, she has the best verses. Like, it could be a terrible song, and she's in it, and her verses are amazing. But, like, everybody else is kind of lacking. I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah. I'm not I, a, do, I do yeah. love Megan. Oh, right, well, you know, everyone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone said Luna loved good crafts. Uh, like her glasses? Because I believe the doll like, came a out. giant book. Luna loved had around. a magazine, I want to say. The Quibbler... Dude, you are asking me about things I do not remember. Me neither. She was an incredibly rememberable character. She was. I actually liked Luna. Lovegood. I did like her too, but she was definitely like a side character. Well, yeah, yeah, because it was she, all about. Did she even Ron, have backstory? Harry and Hermione, huh? Did she even have a backstory. Yeah, her dad was like there, and and her dad, and she got captured and was in some dungeon, locked up, and Dobby came, and then that's when all the stuff with Dobby. Happened. Oh my gosh, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, the Quibbler. Okay, there you go. So yeah. Um, can you make a build a bear for dolls? I can try. I can try. I actually believe that a long time ago there was a toy brand called My World. I want to say it's called My World, right? And they made a build a bear little tiny scene, and I I have it. I don't think I ever actually opened it, and that would be a good thing to try to mimic to try to make the build a bear. So, so I said, what do you want to be for Halloween? Uh, I want to be Ensign. Toya. What? Ensign Toya. Actually, I don't want to be Ensign. More Ensign? like Commander. Oh. Commander Toya. Yeah. I want to be... Of a, the USS I want to be a cowboy. Cowboy. But if I can't find, like, the boots, because the cowboy boots are actually genuinely expensive. You have your riding know. boots. Oh, well, they're not. They're, they're English. Yeah, yeah, like, cowboy My actually, bad. Actually, I could be an English rider. Actually, I don't have any jodfers that look like hunter jodfers. No one's going to so. see your boots. No, but, like... It's not like we're actually leaving the house. I know. <laughs> just, just but, um, yeah, I don't have any like proper jobs, but um, I would. I want to be a cowboy. I think I'd be a cowboy. I'd be a witch, probably. I just need that giant hat. Oh, yeah. um, someone needs to go to sleep now. Okay, Luna family needs to go to sleep, so they want to shout out for their sister, Mingi. What's up? What's up? All right. Uh, it make Mingi. Was it was it Mingi? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a Mingi. Why does that name familiar? Is that from Mingi? Sounds like some sort of like Mingi sounds like a like an anime character's name. Yeah, sounds like the the purse the little the little hand from Oh, the, it's Mingi from Parasite. Is it Mingi? Was it Mingi? Mingi? Minky. I don't remember. Uh. Just called that person a parasite. No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But you know, your sister is awesome, and I hope you have a great, great. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Let me just stop talking. So, so have you watched Outlander? Have you do? Could you do any Scottish clothing? Oh. I have not watched Outlander, but when I worked at the library, I remember the books. There are books. They started as books, and I remember. I think I read part of one, or at least listened to it on tape, and that's what I would do when I was like shelving stuff because you'd be shelving like for days. So, I the only thing, the only I think the show, the only show that I've watched where it has like old like like uh with scottish characters in it like with huge roles i think is peaky blinders but it, it wasn't a good role like they were some sort of gang so <laughs> <laughs> okay. it wasn't a good role at all okay it was mingy mingy oh, it's, it's miggy m-i-g-g-y well no someone's saying it was mingy i don't mingy. know no mingy is from 80s that's oh. a guy from 80s. But the parasite is also like Minky. But I think it's a K. Was Min it a K? He's Minky. I'm sorry. And Mingy is a guy from 80s. Okay, so there's like a trend going on. They're like, I'm leaving your lives. So give me a shout out. Why are you leaving me, man? I'm just We're joking. just going to start saying <laughs> Everyone's just going to leave and <laughs> they don't give shout outs. But we want to give a shout out to Delicious for Life. What's up? Do you okay. like They're Pretty Little Liars? I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it either, but I watched other people watching it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We have our books. Our books are made. Hope you all made your books. I have my Book of Shade, inspired by the Book of Shadows, from the TV show Charmed. And then I have my Sick Note, inspired by Death Note, from the anime Death Note. I love that. Okay, so, so that gives us 
three books so far for our Halloween inspired fake book series. We now have Hocus Pocus inspired book. We now have the Book of Shadows and we have the Death Note. It only took forever. Strangely to make enough, that. nobody else that I've met, like I've met, I've no one else that I've met at least this year, like that likes anime or got into anime or whatever, like watches anime has as much as a deep love for Death Note that I do. I have a Death deep, Note's great, but you, deep you can't it. watch it more than once. I've watched it like three times. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with it. I love it so much. <laughs> nobody else likes it as much. Okay. But nobody else I talk to about anime really likes Devil May Cry Baby either. Mm, stop mentioning that. <laughs> like, never mention that again. Okay, so we are ready to do our right? Not shout out. out. Death Note is a masterpiece. It is. It is its own Galileo. It is. It is. It is. It's, it's amazing. Going on with it my hair. It is the Sistine Chapel of anime. Okay. Yes. Death Note is great. Yes. I get it. I, I watched it. I saw it. It's with you. amazing. But Attack on Titan is so good as well. Like, but I, I feel like I just can't like gauge the. I mean, like, Attack on Titan is amazing. It's amazing. Like, Attack on Titan is. It's so the good. Best. It's so good. But it's incredibly, incredibly violent. But I feel like because Death Note kind of wraps itself up. I kind of just like love it so much, and I love Attack on Titan as well. But there hasn't been an ending yet. I want the, I want to see the endings, and then depending on the ending, it'll be like my number one. But it is definitely like one point five or like like point uh -huh. five to the number one. Like it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so Delicious for Life. I did give you a shout out. I'll give it one more. We want to give a shout out to Delicious for Life. What's, What's up? up? Someone said Astro Boy two thousand three. I haven't watched a lot of old anime. I think the oldest wait, thing wait. I've watched was like. We, we, we need to start doing shout outs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also want to give a very special shout out to Aesthetic Halo. What's, What's up? up? And we want to give a shout out to Rainbow Bites. What's, What's up? up? Imagine, I just called 2003 old. 2003, well, that was before you. Yeah, that is old, actually. <laughs> I think that's, wow, I was. Never mind. I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> uh, you like our printables? Thank you so much. I'm a dolly girl. I'm so happy you like our printables because it actually takes me a long time to make them. Uh, I make a, a little bit every day until they pile up and, and then we can get them out. And, and that's how they happen. But we do have a new Summer and Kelly coming out tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, the episode is episode 20. Is episode 25? I think it's episode 25. So we are in season three of Summer in Cali because we do one a month. And so this is starting year three. It's their junior year. Uh, I don't think I ever actually said that in this episode, but yeah, now you know. Now you know. So you, you have an inside uh, tip on the show. Uh, and hey, lots shout outs. Yeah, we're gonna do shout outs. Okay, okay. We're gonna do shout outs. Shout out to Star Generation. What's up? What's up? I almost thought that said Star Trek Generation. I was about to say, oh my gosh, I love your name. All right. The Little Pinto Twins. What's up? Shout out to Josh Dominguez. What's up? Uh, Julie. What's up? TG. What's up? What's up, Josh? Thanks for joining us. What's up? Emma Polar Bear. What's up? How did you learn to swap bodies on the dolls? Uh, I used to literally just rip their heads off and put them on and then I learned over time that heating the head makes it softer and less likely to mess up the neck peg and, and that's why I use hot water now. There's lots of other ways to do it. People use heating pads, sometimes people use blow dryers. I just like to use hot water and plastic bags. Shout out to Severa. What's up? Shout out to Dangerous Dolls. What's up? Julie. What's up? Uh, arrow. Shout out to Vanessa McCraney. What's up? John. What's up? K Charmaine. What's up? I should specify John K. What's up? Oh, hello, Mr. Bowie. Hello, hello. Mr. Bowie's here. Shout out to Giselle. What's up? Um, no, 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 no. Lollipop Anna M. Laura, what's up? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Okay, shout out. I can't get to. Oh, I'll, I'll go. All right, you take him. You take him. Why is he so hot? Because he was laying outside in the sun. Okay, dude. No, 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 no. This is real hair. This is real hair. <laughs> shout out to uh, Angelique Martinez. What's up? Um, M. 
No, no, MB Photos 09B. What's up? Giselle DePaz. What's up? Kira Billy. What's up? Shout out to Tammy Elliott. What's up? Black Hearted Rabbit. What's up? Isabella. What's up? Uh, it smells good. Did you just wash them recently? No, that is complete doggy must from running around Why outside. Why does he not smell that bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm having a stroke. He smells horrible to me. Okay. Uh, Nova Scotia Hobby Horse. What's up? Um, I'm going to destroy this Elizabeth name. Elizabeth Lydia. What's up? All right. It's irate. No. I R A T I. Last name, I think, Del Rio. What's up? Nova Scotia Hobby Horse. What's I up? did that oh. one. Shout out to Funny Bunny Friends. What's up? Kiara Belly. What's up? Shout out to uh, Barbara Roberts. What's up? Mahogany Banks. What's up? Did you do Lollipop Anna M? Yeah, I did. Uh, Night Girl. 62 gaming what's up shout out to muscle girl happy birthday what's up uh two more mouse friend what's up oh oh the name is geraldine what's up and shout out to glitch ladybug and abigail what's up two more two more shout um, out to uh, Teary. what's up and uh playtime bunny did you do that one no What's up? Thank you so much for joining us this week on YouTube Live with Toya, Bella, and Bowie while we made miniature books inspired by fake books from TV, movies, and anime. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sweating. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see all of you next time. Don't forget to check back tomorrow at noon, Eastern Standard Time, for new Summer in Cali. And we'll see you next time.